you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Port Moody Coquitlam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's our job as people, as parents, as residents of BC, and for all Canadians to combat racist behaviors and discriminatory practices wherever we can. This is from the joint statement on the impact of COVID-19 on vulnerable, vulnerable groups written by the Tri-Cities Local Immigration Partnership and signed by multiple cities and organizations. COVID-19 has shown us the importance of coming together, but at the same time, it's also brought out fear-based racist responses against our Chinese and Iranian neighbors, as well as worsening inequities and racial tensions that many of our black, indigenous, and people of color experience on a daily basis. The concept of racism is often misunderstood. It's actually much more pervasive than we think it is. That's why the work of the Tri-Cities Local Immigration Partnership is so important. They've been hosting webinars to explore topics such as what does racism look like, why does racism still exist, and how do we address racism in our community. This powerful series, series gives a voice to those that have experienced racism and the opportunity to discuss lessons and to brainstorm concrete actions that we can all take. The Tri-Cities Local Immigration Partnership are unsung heroes, working with many others in our community to address racism in all its forms. I would like to acknowledge and thank them for their compassion and dedication. Thank you.